The SMS Mobile software includes a coverage logging mode that allows you to log data based on a user-defined swath width. This operation is ideal for logging operations such as tillage or single product application. There is also a virtual implement switch available that when turned on will help you more accurately log coverage because it will quit recording area when outside of the field boundary or across an area of the field where data was already recorded. To create a new coverage logging data set, click on the coverage logging icon under the field operations menu. Choose if you want to create a new data set or modify an existing data set. If you have GPS and field boundaries in the SMS mobile software, the next screen will either auto-select the field you are currently located in or show you the fields that you are closest to. If you do not have GPS or are not located in proximity to an existing field boundary, you will need to manually select the grower, farm, and field that you wish to work with and then click OK. If you selected to add or edit an existing data set, choose the data set that you would like to work with and click OK. On the Data Set Info dialog, select the management items for the new site verification data set, such as product, instance, resources, and containers. Click OK after making any necessary changes. On the Default Values screen, input any desired default attributes, such as swath width. All points logged in this coverage data set will have these values assigned to them by default. Click OK to continue. The Related Data Options dialog will now open. Related data sets are other loads or regions that are related to the new data set you are creating or the existing data set that you are modifying. An example would be if you logged multiple coverage logging data sets in the same field and you wanted to see the other data sets while logging this new data. Click OK after making your selection. On the Virtual Implement Switch Settings dialog, choose if you wish to enable the Virtual Implement Switch or not and how you want to treat data logged inside of Inner Boundaries. Click OK. You will now enter the coverage logging mode. To begin logging, select to log coverage from the menu or click the log coverage icon from the mapping toolbar. Tap the start button in the lower right hand corner or choose start from the action menu. After selecting start, the icon will change to pause. After logging the data set, click pause and then click the cancel button. You have now learned how to create a new coverage logging data set modify the default options, and turn the virtual implement switch on. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.